I'm joined by Alkis from Semion. Thank you for being with us. My pleasure. So you travel from Canada. Tell us about Semion. What is it? Who are you guys? What do you do? Um, so Semion's a, a fairly young company, started about three and a half years ago, that focuses on extracting insights uh, automatically, completely automatically, from all content that can be found on the web. Any text-based content on social media, blogs, forums, news sites, any kind of content where people are writing about any topic, we index, analyze, and um, present results back to our customers that they can actually do something with. So it's not just about number of mentions of a brand or a product, for example. It's more about what what is the context in, within which brands are mentioned, uh, or, or 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 products are described, or criticized, or praised, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, so that we can help companies really uh, understand how people appreciate or do not appreciate what they're doing, essentially. So. It can apply to any number of things. A brand can be a person, for example. If your CEO goes out and does something silly, if some of your employees do things that they shouldn't be doing and it shows up on Facebook, um, if um, you rebrand your product completely and people don't like it, there's been a number of examples like that with Gap, for example. A number of companies have done some things that their, their consumers didn't appreciate. You can get very quick access to exactly how people feel about that and exactly what they would like to see you do with your products and your brands. And how do you guys differ? Because you know, we see lots of analytics technology, social media management technology. What would you say your USP is as a company? The, the single most important differ differentiator is context. It's really putting things into context. It's not just n knowing how many times something was mentioned. It's really understanding the details of what people say about your brand. Um, and that's something that very few companies are able to do just by virtue of how they're, they're analyzing text. They're essentially counting words. Um, so if you, when you're counting words, if you're looking for a major brand, Apple, Coca-Cola, whatever it is, of course you're going to find it millions of times. And it's not about how many times it's been mentioned, it's about how people feel when they're in touch with that brand. If you're drinking a can of Coke, if you're using a smartphone, if you're driving a car, you're usually doing that in some kind of context. How do I associate that to other values? How do I associate that to other brands? Um, how do I know what people like or don't like about things, but in record time, really doing that very quickly, quasi real time, and that's one of the most important differentiators for Semyon. So would it be fair to say it's a slightly deeper version of insight and perhaps one with emotion or kind of a semantic Correct. attachment attached Correct. to it? Correct, exactly. So the word semantic is very important because that's what provides context. Uh, being able to understand what is being said about the brand is, is something that is is achieved through semantic analysis. And semantic analysis also allows us to better understand and map emotion. Rather than looking for keywords that, like love or hate and translating those into emotion, we're looking for patterns that where people are expressing things in more subtle ways, but nevertheless either being complementary towards a product or a brand or, on the flip side, criticizing it. So. So you're a young company, only yes. three and a half years. So where are you now? Where is the state of play now? And where are we going to be in 6, 12, 18 months' time? Um, so we've entered uh, the North American, uh, Latin American, uh, Central American markets very aggressively. Uh, we've also entered the Middle Eastern market re very recently and are now making our first step foray into Europe. Um, we are displacing our competitors very, very quickly, which is interesting. We also even, in a funny way, we post-process data for our customers from our competitors. So our competitor, some of our customers have competing platforms, of course. As you mentioned, there's a number of platforms out there. Um, but we are in a position, given the strength and the quality of, of our analytics platform, we actually post-process data from our competitors as just another data source. So that's been an interesting, uh, an interesting play for us as well. So you've hit the Americas and Europe's next. Yes, exactly. So it might be fair to say, in terms of kind of content management, you're on one of the kind of leading edges of Absolutely. what you're doing now. Absolutely. Where are we going to be in three years' time, five years' time? When we meet at Festival of Media 2020 and you are our biggest sponsor, and you say, Dan, <laughs> I told you this is going to happen. <laughs> What's the prediction you're going to make? So we will be the central analytics engine wherever there's content. We will be part, for example, of your office suite. We will be part of major analytic, major, major um, document management systems online. And we will be part of every single agency's, uh, both cr on the creative side and on the content management side, strategies to better understand how their campaigns, uh, their advertisements are, are resonating with their constituents. So small scale, nothing too, nothing too serious. Nothing though. too serious. We want to be in the center of everything that is, that is analytics. And, and we will be. And, and who are your customers? You mentioned agencies. Who are the, groups you, who are the groups you talk to and engage so, with? So typically, they're, they're, yes, they're agencies who themselves are dealing with their own, their own end customers. So they'll, they will license the platform and leverage it to help their customers better understand 
how the services that the agency is providing are performing and, and working. And there are also direct corporate customers, uh, large brands, um, mid-range brands, and there are also a, a number of government agencies. Based on the, the strength of the analytics capabilities, we're able to do certain things in terms of understanding um, content from a security perspective as well. well it sounds cool. It's an exciting place to be. It is. It's very exciting. It's, it's all going to be about an analytics eventually. And how have you enjoyed being at festival? Very good. Very useful. Who's been on? <laughs> who's been on your hit list? Who is it you wanted to target? Um, we really anybody who who is very driven by content creation and and the quality of content uh, in terms of building stories. Any of the groups here that are interested in that kind of a play, we want to make sure they understand that to to maximize return on investment when creating content, you need an analytics play to help you really understand if people like it, don't like it, and why. So all of the groups here are good targets. I look forward to seeing you in 2020 where you can prove me right that you're at the heart of everything. <laughs> Thank, Thank you for your time. Thank you.